Are you just getting started with Git and GitHub and you are getting this error message failed to push some refs to and then your repository URL? Are you getting that? Here is how your repository might be looking like on GitHub. You may have chosen to add a readme file automatically to your new repo. This file triggers a new commit. Here's where all starts. Then your local environment, you have already the folder that you are working on and you may even have some files that you want to check into this repo. I'm going to run the git commands from within VS Code. So I'm just going to run the terminal. I'm going to change the folder to be this one, change directory right there. And then I'm going to run git init to initialize the local repo. After doing that, I'm going to go and type in git add add new files, all new files, dot. We have moved from working environment to the staging area. Now I'm going to run the git commit dash m. I'm going to put a message here. First commit, which to be honest is not really the first one, but let's put it that for now, as we think that this is the first commit. Now we're going to connect the local git to the remote one. And for that, we're going to run git remote add origin. That's the name that we're going to be using to reference the remote one. And then we're going to put the URL. Here is the git URL. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it here. And the connection is made. Natural next step. We're going to try to push those changes to the remote one. And you're going to run git push dash u origin master. We have a problem. That's the error. Failed to push some refs to the git URL. How do we solve that? Well, first of all, what is the problem? The problem is that you have a commit already performed on the remote GitHub repo and also on your local one, but they are not aware of each other. So one commit happens after the other one, after the other one. You have two parallel commits that neither of them are aware of each other. So we have to combine them together. That's called rebasing. We're going to have to rebase our repository. To do that, we're going to run git pull dash dash rebase. This is what will do the rebasing. We're going to get the files in the remote repository. We're going to bring them locally. And then we're going to force one commit to be placed after the other one. Then origin and the name of the branch. We are working with the master. So the branches have been sequenced properly and we are ready to push this new setup back to the remote repository. Before we do that, if we try git log, we're going to see that we have the first commit and then the initial one. The initial one is the one that was on GitHub. The first commit is the one that we did locally. So now you can see that it's one after the other. We have been able to sequence them and we solved the conflict. Now we are ready to push the changes to GitHub. So git push dash u origin master. Let's try that. This time around, we had no problems. If we check on GitHub, you're going to see that we have our initial commit and then we have our what I called first commit, which is the second, actually the second one. That's it. That's how you can solve the error. Fail to push some refs to repo. One note of warning is that only use this strategy if you are just creating your repo right now and you don't have a more complex situation in your hands with a larger project. That's it. Thanks. Bye.